Well, hello, everyone. We're here together again for another week of Florida State uh, football and the football fix. And thanks to all our booster members out there and supporters and fans for tuning in. And I uh, hope you see an extra familiar face uh, this week. I, I'm joined, of course, I'm Rob Wilson. I'm joined by Coach Mike Norvell and an esteemed special guest, his wife, Maria. Welcome to both of you again. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I, I see you're beautiful. What a day here in Tallahassee, by the way. And that, I assume, is your porch at home and probably uh, could have done it from outside today. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, uh, it, it's that the, one of the perks of being able to, to work remotely is, uh, you know, get to enjoy the wonderful weather. And everything's been uh, been going well. And, you know, obviously, you getting to share, uh, share today's football fix with Maria is, uh, you know, definitely a special occasion as well. Well, we're going to get to know her a little bit better, uh, sort of in the back half of the show. But right now, Coach, update us. You seem to have a theme every week, sort of, with your players. And there's a lot of excitement around with some new policies being announced by the university. And maybe 25% of the workforce can come back. And uh, we're starting to really feel that uh, concept of getting together and, and seeing one another again. But uh, tell us where we are this week with the team. Well, you know, uh, obviously, I'm really proud of our guys. You know, this uh, this last week, you know, we, we had uh, – finals that we're rolling through and you know we've talked all semester about their their work ethic and uh, you know to throughout this pandemic you know just their response to the adversity that we've seen um, you know it really showed up at, at a very high level and uh, yesterday we were able to post uh, that we had a team GPA of 3.127 which is or, or, or I'm sorry 3.27 which is the highest in program uh, history it's something that you know, I was uh, really excited for them and just, uh, you know, it really, really kind of just celebrated, uh, you know, a lot of the growth that we're seeing from these guys. And, uh, you know, we, we expect, uh, we expect, uh, you know, great things ahead, but, uh, you know, like I tell them all the time, you know, how you do, how you do anything is going to be how you do everything. And, you know, they really made a statement academically uh, about uh, the, the growth and development of where this team's going. I've heard you talk about that before and, and other college coaches as well in that if, you, if you've got your academic house in order and you've got your personal and social house in order, then it just stands to reason that you're gonna be a better athlete because you, you can concentrate more on what you get to do. Yeah, and, I, and for more than anything else, I just wanna see these guys compete. And I think, I think as you sit there and you go through life, um, you know, everybody gets so much focus to, to the competition that happens between the white lines there uh, of a football field. But, you know, if, if that mindset of competition goes into the classroom, if it goes into to the weight room in, in every aspect of their life, I, I want them to compete to be the best that they can possibly be. And uh, you're seeing we're seeing great steps that are taking place uh, in that aspect. And uh, we're just uh, excited about that to continue. I know you've been camped out in front of a computer screen ever since we pulled the basketball team off the court at the ACC tournament, just about. Uh, I know you're tired of looking at that, but man, you're on it all day long. I know even from talking to assistant coaches, you're talking to one of them every hour. It's, it's, it's just a continual uh, video virtual reality for you right now. Yeah, I think I've hit my, uh, my Zoom quota for the rest of my life after this, uh, after this pandemic. But, uh, you know, even now, I mean, we're going through uh, exit meetings with our players uh, so I'm, I'm visiting with all 96 uh, players that we have. We've got uh, basically 15 minutes, uh, you know, meetings that have been scheduled through these last few days. And, uh, you know, those are going really well. And just an opportunity to kind of reflect on, uh, on, on some of the strides that we've seen, uh, you know, missing out on, on the majority of spring practice. Uh, we focused on, on different areas. But the, these guys, they're, they're excited about what we're doing. And, uh, you know, we're trying to maximize the, uh, the opportunity with a, a lot of our position meetings or some of our team meetings where we're, continuing to try to grow and just keep everybody uh, on the same page as, as we are, you know, preparing to hopefully be able to get back, uh, you know, here uh, uh, sometime in the near future. Yeah, I guess you're starting to put plans together for a date for your, at least your coaches to come back and be in town so that once we do get that green light, they can pour into the building, and, which is awfully empty, by the way. I think there's five of us in here today. So I've, you know, been just wandering the weight room and other places all by myself. But I know you're excited to, about the potential to get together. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, you know, we've made the most of, of uh, the situation that we've, that we've been dealt, but uh, there's nothing, there's nothing like you know, being, uh, you know, everybody together in one place. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely miss these guys. Uh, I think it's, uh, um, you know, 
to, to try to spend as much time as you possibly can with each other. But, uh, you know, to, to have that interaction, whether it's just a pat on the back or, you know, to, to be able to, to go through those experiences and, um, you know, just, you know, that's what makes a football team special is just, you know, everybody coming from different places for a common cause. And, um, you know, we're seeing a lot of great strides in, in, uh, in what our guys are doing, but we're, we're definitely uh, looking forward to having everybody back in Tallahassee. Well, congratulations on that uh, great point average for the semester, and congratulations to our student athletes for taking care of business virtually uh, in, in a demanding situation with a lot of stuff competing for their attention. And we've got some questions from Booster members, if we can get to a couple of those before we get to the star of the show. Uh, so Bob, who's a Golden Chief from Brentwood, Tennessee, asks, how do you build team chemistry when everyone is away from campus and by themselves? Well, you know, there's really just a, an expectation of, of, of every action. And, uh, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to, to make sure that even through these Zoom, these Zoom meetings that guys are getting a chance to see each other. It was something that was critical to me, um, you know, throughout this process because, you know, we're, we're all, you know, trying to achieve the same thing. And, and that's to be the best version of ourselves. And to, to see that, that constant growth and development and, you know, that chemistry comes through, you know, having to deal with the, with the same type of adversity. We're all, you know, nobody expected this to occur. Nobody has, has really ever foreseen this uh, uh, ever happening. But, you know, our response is, is what we can be unified in. And uh, to see uh, the, the look on our guys' faces, uh, you, know, you know, yesterday, today, um, you know, going through once they got their final grades and to see some of the, uh, the amazing strides that we've taken, it, it's just a, you know, it's really a stamp of what we're doing. And, uh, you know, that chemistry is, is being built, even though we are having to do it, uh, you know, at, at all different places, you know, spread out uh, uh, across this country. Well, Bob, thanks for, uh, thanks for that question. Thanks for being a supporter, particularly at the Golden Chief uh, uh, level. And, and uh, we need all that we can get. And, and we appreciate you being behind the Seminoles. Sean is a warrior level Seminole booster from Mariana, Florida. And he watched uh, last week's episode, I guess it was, with the coordinators, offensive, defensive, and special teams coordinator. And he sent in a question that says, uh, what are some of the benefits and obstacles of having a staff that is full of coaches who have been coordinators previously? Well, I mean, I, I think experience and, and knowledge has to be your, your greatest talent. And, uh, you know, I think those two things come hand in hand. Uh, you, you look at our staff and you know, we, we all have a, a wide variety of uh, a range of, of age and experience, but the, you know, being in a leadership position uh, you know, throughout your career, it's, it's something that really you know, stretches you and, and your understanding and really being able to look at something with a, with a big picture approach. And to have that many guys that have, that have you know, sat in the chair of, of being able to lead, a, whether it's a side of the ball or, or a specific uh, uh, team or phase, whether it's a recruiting coordinator or, or um, you know, different, different aspects like that. I mean, it, to, to have that broad scope of, of the responsibility and the, and the importance of every decision that you make, uh, you know, it's the, the preparation is what I think that really benefits us. And being able to work together within the staff to make sure we're all pushing in the same direction uh, while having different responsibilities. Thank you for that. And thanks for those questions. And send them in again. We'll talk to them again on the next chance we get for the football fix. But right now we want to bring in Maria and coach you stay on too and answer any questions, make any corrections you might on her answers as well. <laughs> but welcome again. We haven't seen a lot of our fans haven't seen you since you walked through the marching chiefs and headed to the press conference to, to welcome you to the Seminole family. And by the way, that doesn't happen every single day that marching chiefs aren't out there to greet you every day, but um, don't break it to Mila, but, uh, but it's not there every day, but welcome. And I hope you're, you're finding a home in Tallahassee. We are. It's been, uh, we've had a great opportunity to get settled in, you know, with everything going on. So we, uh, got to really make this our home, and we're really enjoying it. Well, I, I don't know if uh, Coach has mentioned that we got this out of him in one of our earlier uh, football fixes, but we had a great question that asked uh, what his favorite class was in college and what his least favorite class was. And he said he swept you off your feet uh, in a dance class in college, and that was his favorite class. He said his favorite class ever was ballroom dancing, which uh, – a lot of people lost a bet on that one. Uh, that, that would be his favorite <laughs> class. But in your opinion, who dances better, you or Coach? Oh, yeah. wow! Light on his feet, is he? He well, he's very good. <laughs> okay. Well, that's another shocker. Another bet lost, but at least me. 
Uh, next question. Who would you say earned better grades in school overall between the two of you? <laughs> that hand was fast to go That's not, what, I didn't. What was your favorite class in college? And you can't be the ballroom dancing, make it another one. Hmm. Um, some psychology, I, I majored in psychology. I, abnormal psychology is probably my oh. favorite. Well, that that explains, abnormal, abnormal psychology, marry a football coach. <laughs> that, that, that explains your even temperament through all this. You know, I, I was ready to ask you if it's been nice having him not working and being at home for probably the longest stretch since y'all ever met, but sounds like he's up there on the computer working all day anyway, so it's not much different, I imagine. Yeah, he is, but just you know, knowing that he's here and, you know, at breaks, he's around, it's been really wonderful. It, it, is like you said the first time in our entire marriage that we've had this much time to go to family and we really have enjoyed it and made the, the best of it. I uh, like your shirt by the way. Uh, also coach, uh, coach admitted that he prefers doing dishes over doing, la doing laundry. We asked him to choose. Uh, with that in mind, which of the two of you is the better cook? Well, I mean, I cook more, but he is really good at grilling. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, it's no contest. She's a better cook. <laughs> uh, what would Mila say? Which one of you is the best? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. What's her favorite meal? Uh, grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. Ah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I try to get it, mix it up, but now she does right. one. <laughs> if, if coach can't do grilled cheese, then we, we really are hurting. Um, which of the two of you is funnier or more creative? Uh, I, I don't know. He's, I'm not as creative. He's more creative. Really? Yeah. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty lame. So she's definitely more fun. Is she? She's <laughs> <funnier. laughs> All right. Good. Any, any secret talents you want to tell us about coach Norvell that we, aside from his prowess on the dance floor? Well, I learned that he's really good at hanging pictures. Like really, oh. good. yeah, he's very handy. We've always joked that he's not, but he is actually very handy. <laughs> Given the time to do it, he has <laughs> been tremendous I at have... getting things done here. It's, it's been great. <laughs> Rob, wow. that, that that was, uh, I was kind of forced into that. I had, I had a good thing going, but now, <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to be out putting in sprinklers and whatnot. All right, lastly for you, who is more excited for football season, you or coach? Hmm. I would think I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, just want to. I'm not a. Yeah, I, I don't have to coach this. Field, we so. have to get a couple practices in before that starts. Right. So. No. <laughs> yeah, I just I had a thought when I was asking that question. Have you had a chance to? I know you know some of the wives, coaches' wives, previously, but have you had a chance? To, have, did y'all even have a chance to get together much before the social separation? No, not really. Just briefly on some recruiting weekends before um but but again i i haven't got to meet everybody you know yeah. but you did the zoom meeting too though but we did a zoom meeting yeah oh you did zoom meetings uh -huh. oh good well because that a lot of people i'm sure realize that that you're that support group of coaches wives only you know what that's like and and uh, you really do lean on each other a lot and become sort of a family within the family yeah yeah it's a wonderful group and I can't wait to get together again and just really get to know each other better. Well, we hope that's going to happen soon. And again, it sounds like there's some optimistic things going on. Seems like it's one step forward, two steps back on all this, but it feels like around the corner from at least getting the coaches to be able to get back in their offices and watch film together at the same time. Although I understand they've done some fancy stuff on zoom where the coaches have been able to watch and interact with film and, and have gotten a lot done actually. So uh, thank you both for your time. Thank you both for being in the Seminole family and being just jumping in head first and being all garnet and goldy on us. And uh, we thank our boosters and our our, uh, our supporters and ticket holders for joining us. And, and we hope, you know, the ticket deadline just passed. They've extended a little bit. So we do need everyone to get your season tickets in and, and hope that you're part of the season whenever we kick off. And and we're all optimistic it's going to be soon, but we'd like to thank once again the FSU Bookstore, who are sponsoring 
our, uh, our broadcast now. They're the place that you can get some old gear right now at shopfsu.com. And of course, we see the retail numbers when they come in. It's been surprising how much uh, royalties have been coming in. A lot of, I guess, people are at home buying Florida State stuff for the 2000 season, the, the next season, the whole academic year season. And, and we're excited about that. FSU Bookstore is, is helping with the with the uh, football fix. We appreciate their support. And we appreciate Florida State fans supporting them as well. So to everyone watching, get your uh, questions in for next week. Uh, Coach, we hope we're talking about being even closer to actually seeing the guys in person. And we wish you good luck this week and all your video work and, and your uh, end of spring meetings with your players. Congratulations once again on that fabulous academic achievement. That shouldn't go unnoticed. There was a lot of press about it, certainly today. And and uh, congratulations to you. I know that, that certainly leads into summer in a positive in a positive way. Absolutely, and uh, your guys are excited. And I'll tell you, you know, we've got a we got a special group of young men that we get to coach each and every day. And you know, I've really enjoyed these uh, exit meetings to end the semester because uh, it just it shows the uh, and and they see the growth that they've been making, and and not just uh, the physical development, but the mental development. And we're definitely all looking forward to getting back together. And appreciate all the supporters, all the boosters. Uh, I know it is is definitely a hard and trying time, but we're in this thing together. And I know we're all pushing pushing forward, uh, staying safe, and can't wait to see everybody out and get a chance to cheer on our Seminoles. So you guys have a great rest of the week, and go Knowles. And thanks, Maria, for joining us. We'll, we'll try and get you in here again, and I hope all the pictures are hung straight. You can go check them again right now, and apparently he can straighten them up. Yeah, he's good. Thank you for having me. Thanks, and go Knowles, everybody. We'll see you next week. Send in your questions. <laughs>